I'm Sarah Joe, your host here in the Diamond Lane on Classic 107 in Winnipeg. And we have just invited a Governor General Award winner here into the studio. We have Nicole Dizé, Canadian composer extraordinaire, back here in Winnipeg to share more of her delight and magic with us. Uh, welcome. Welcome to it's the great Diamond to be Lane. here. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, and it's Fantastic. good to see you again. We mm-hmm. haven't seen each other in about a, it's been about a, year, a year and a half. A over here. Yeah, yeah. Super great. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us what's going on in your life. So you've been you've been doing lots of wonderful things. Most recently, this experimental kind of joining of your voice with this mentorship of Howard Shore. Mm-hmm. Tell, mm-hmm. tell us about that. That's really exciting. That was uh, as part of the Governor General Awards. It's actually, it's called the Protégé Award, uh-huh. where uh, the uh, Governor General Awards uh, submitted uh, some names and, and material to Howard Shore, to, and he selected who he would like to uh, mentor or choose as the protégé, and I was delighted to learn that it was me. Well, shucks. Yeah. And so that meant I got to, of course, uh, I met him first attending the awards that year. That was 2015. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I worked with him in his studio and we've been, you know, keeping in touch. And it just it's just a wonder because it's somebody that I've uh, admired for a very long time. I can imagine. Yeah. His work with Cronenberg. And of course, his many films, and I think he's just a fabulous composer. And it, we hit it off, and it's it's been exciting. That is very exciting. Yeah. So you are you're performing tonight, uh, and mm-hmm. other composer or other uh, performers are also performing with you mm-hmm. uh, tonight at the Goodwill. Uh, but tell us what you have been doing before we get to what's happening tonight. Tell us what you've been doing the last little while. You said you were doing a bunch of writing, like a bunch of writing. So yes. who are you writing for these days? Um, I, these days I'm writing f- a, uh, a large piece for the TSO with the Kronos Quartet. So it's a string quartet uh, concerto mm. with orchestra and film, and it's called Black Midi. And it'll be a um, delving into my interpretation of what Black Midi is. And we'll continue, we'll be keeping with the uh, sort of experimentation with film, merging that, notating that, and merging that with orchestras and soloists the way I've been doing for the past while. Well, yeah. your relationship with the Kronos Quartet goes back quite a while, but mm-hmm. also, I mean, for us Winnipeg audiences, uh, we saw your uh, Hitchcock etudes mm-hmm. uh, not too long ago at New Music Festival, actually. Wasn't it just last season? It was that or the or, or two the seasons, seasons ago. Maybe two seasons ago, yeah. And Meg Masaki, who was also in Brandon, was playing that. It was mm-hmm. it was fascinating. So you work with Hitchcock film a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else uh, Who else have you started to sew into your music? Uh, quite a few. It's actually part of a series called the Criterion Collection. Okay. So and these are directors that I've admired from from a you know since a very young age and sort of have um, they've made an impression not only visually on my visual work but certainly applying it to my my sonic work as well. The way they cut, the way they zoom in, the way they they look at their films, and so it's a series. At this point, it's a series of of five. So it's it started with Hitchcock. Second was Kubrick. Mm-hmm. The third was devoted to The Sound of Music, which, uh, you know, is is an important film to me because it it was the first film I had seen and watched over and over and over again. And when I watched it, I watched it on tape and the tape would begin to degrade and stutter. And that's how I I continued to watch it like this as a child. And I, since, you know, that time, I wanted to harness these glitches that would happen, this malfunction, because it became beautiful. The, ta- the, the colors would oversaturate, the, the, the stuttering would become a rhythm, and it would be sewn into the Foley sounds and the, and the soundtrack in the movie. And I wanted this psychedelic version, and I wanted to um, complement it with orchestra, sort of merge it with live musicians. That was long my goal. So I, I did one, uh, I devoted a whole piece to that movie. And then uh, most recently, Tarantino Etudes just premiered for bass flute, not by premiered by Mark McGregor uh, within the last year and a half. And then the most recent was David Lynch Etudes that was premiered in San Francisco this past season by Eva Goyen. I love her too. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm I, so she, glad you're working with all these yeah, amazing people. Yeah, all amazing people just really jumping into the whole aesthetic because it's something that um, 
needs to be jumped into. You can't be tentative or anything. You need to have like this big, you want to, I mean, she's a big David, speaking about Eve, a big David Lynch fan. Yeah. You know, I ask her to sing along with it. I ask her to, you know, she has to stomp. She has to play guitar at the same time in, in <laughs> tandem with James from Twin Peaks. So they do a little duet called, oh you know, Love Triangle because, uh, yeah, well, there's a story. But yeah. The, the anyway. love story with Laura Palmer. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. So, so, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, sonically, what what would an audience expect from this? For those people out there who haven't heard your work and how it's kind of clipped together and edited and 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 joined with live musicians, you know, what are what are the sounds that we we start hearing in your music? Um, a lot of different sounds. I mean, everything comes from a very s short moment, a snip from a film that has had, you know, that has impacted me. So I want to um, stop time in a gr in a scene, uh, a poignant scene within a film, and stretch it out. Like not necessarily stretch it out, but there will be stretching of the moment. But just stopping time and making a moment uh, from that scene. So, for example, in Hitchcock Etudes, there's a there's a there's a part where uh, Norman Bates stutters, right. and I, l I that sound is very iconic. It is very rhythmic to me, and it just it's it's um, it just seems natural for it to, to form it into a bass line or a sort of a a rhythmic line that can be complemented or can be you know sort of um, colored by the piano, and that's what's going to be happening tonight at the show. Different scenes, so some of them are from Hitchcock. I sort of created a, a, a sort of a collage from the Lynch etudes, from Tarantino, from Hitchcock, Kubrick. So all these different moments that are Suddenly, the, the 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 scene is set up, and then it's taken in a in a direction and and colored by live players. So it's like ciné and musique concrète joined with live music, and you get this crazy magical mashup. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's let's hear some of what the you know kind of sounds and colors we might hear tonight uh, would be about. We're going to start with this work called Book Burners. Can you set it up for us? Well, Book Burners is um, a little different. Book, Book Burners is an example of um, merging turn t turntablism is also a major part of my aesthetic. Right. Something I've been doing for for a very long time, um, and bringing instruments that are not normally associated with classical music within classical music and I strongly feel that they can coexist alongside one another um, you know I work with a with a turntable DJ P love who is a fantastic musician mm -hmm. amazing chops reads music because part of it is is notation to so that it like any other instrument of the orchestra it can be conducted it can be you know manipulated in sync with with it within a, a chamber setting and you've been a pioneer in, in developing this notation mm -hmm. as well which is super amazing bt dubs anyway continue <laughs> sorry so tell us about book burners so book burners is a duo so mm -hmm. i've worked i've put that i've i've sort of um melded the turntables with a number of different kinds of chamber scenarios and this one is the first time where there is a duo so the other player is a cellist Stefan Tetro from Montreal a fantastic cellist and to see, it, it was uh, the point of it is to see what happens when a turntablist and a cellist the, the relationship that goes on the dialogue that is formed the meticulous sort of qualities rhythmic and, and texture and everything it's, it's not unlike a pianist and a cellist for example where the relationship is very different from a larger en ensemble well these new and exciting sounds and western art music from Nicole Lise, this excerpt of her work book burners is what we'll hear And you're going to just tell me where... Yeah. I will tell you where it's at. An excerpt from Nicole Lise's book burners. It was very nice, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I meant your fade out. Was really oh wow! Well, thank you. Your fade Thanks, man. Oh, it's my pleasure. I, yeah. I'm, I'm honored that you think my fade out's good. Oh, yeah. I mean, since you're a pro at this kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> but hey, we have Nicole Lise here in the studio. Uh, she's just won a Governor General Award, which is pretty exciting. Uh, she's working with Howard Shore right now. But I mean, her works have been premiered and 
performed all over the world uh, by world-class ensembles. And she's back here in Manitoba. Uh, and we're so happy to have you. Um, tell us what's going on tonight at the gr- uh, the Goodwill with Groundswell and the Brandon, or Brandon Chamber players. Yeah. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's my group, my trio named Sask Power. Okay. Yep. And and Leanne Zacharias and Eric Platts, two magnificent players. They are. Um, who I adore. <laughs> and we are playing what I call Cinema Rave. So referring back to the glitch pieces that celebrate the, the directors, right. it's sort of a sampling from those different pieces. So there'll be excerpts from Hitchcock, from Kubrick, from Santa Music, uh, Lynch, and Tarantino. Um, and, uh, and a few extra ones as well. And it was arranged, uh, many of them, some of them are, were originally uh, scored for piano. Mm-hmm. Behind the Sound of Music was originally scored for orchestra, there was a bass flute. And so I rearranged them for this uh, this setup, this chamber music setup. So it's an ongoing, it's called Cinema Rave. Once, I, once the, the video starts, it goes on for an hour. It's one merges into the other, and it's meant to be uh, akin to a rave, like a trip where you're brought in emotional, different emotional kind of rides, uh, different, yeah, different emotions, and it doesn't stop until an hour later. Amazing. So you kind of got to buckle in. We That's start it. at, That's it. at yep. 9.15 at the Goodwill. Tickets are 15 bucks at the door or 10 bucks for students and seniors. Uh, and again, this is part of Groundswell's special event series in collaboration with the Brandon Chamber players. Uh, and so Leanne and Eric uh, and you, are you actually playing I am too? playing, yes. Are I you turntabling? No, no, p- I'm playing keys, keys and writing the faders. Okay. Yeah. 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 See the yeah, fade. Like that's why I'm right? <laughs> excited. I'm going to do that same fade out later. Uh, you know. Well, shucks. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm honored to have <laughs> been fading in front of you. Um, but yes, and, and there are works of other composers on this program as well. Are there? No. 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 This is just a single piece. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is all Nicolise for from about n- get there for at least nine o'clock just to make sure you have a good perspective. Uh, music should start at about nine fifteen. Yeah. We I, were saying. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. For more info, you can go to gswell.ca or, of course, you can visit our website, classic107.com. Nicole Lise, Governor General Award winning composer uh, of awesome varieties of music and mad skills. Thank you for joining us here (laughs) in the Diamond Lane. My pleasure. Thank you. We are going to go to a short break here in the Diamond Lane on Classic 107 in Winnipeg and come back with some more 20th century French magic. Stay tuned.